Here's a quick explanation of assessments and overassessments in Detroit. First of all, let's start with the basics. Government wants to tax people fairly. If you have a more expensive house, you should pay more in taxes. The property tax is supposed to work like the sales tax. Everyone pays the same tax rate. Michigan sales tax rate is 6%, for example. So if you buy something that costs 10 bucks, like a pack of light bulbs, you'd pay six cents in sales taxes. If you buy something that costs $100, like this pair of sneakers, you pay six bucks in sales tax. It's fair that you pay more sales tax for a pair of shoes than a light bulb because you're paying the same tax rate for both. Both are taxed at a rate of 6%, and 6% of $100 is more than 6% of $10. This should be true of property taxes too. For example, the Detroit property tax rate is usually around 2.8%. So this means that if your home is worth $10,000, you should pay 280 in property taxes. And if your home is worth $100,000, you should pay 2,800 in property taxes. This is only fair because everyone is paying the same property tax rate. But when the city of Detroit overvalues low value homes and undervalues high value homes, people don't pay the same tax rate anymore and the city on the whole loses money. Let's look at an example. If the city overvalues a low valued home at $20,000, the owner would end up paying 560 in property taxes, which is $280 more than they should. If the city undervalues a high valued house at $50,000, the owner would end up paying 1,400 in property taxes which is 1,400 less than they should. So in these scenarios, the first home is paying an effective tax rate of 5.6%, and the second home is paying an effective tax rate of 1.4%. Since it is critical that the city of Detroit correctly calculates home values so the taxes can be fairly applied, how do they do it? With the sales tax, you know the value of the thing that you're going to be taxed on upfront. For example, a pair of sneakers you're interested in buying have the price listed on them. But with property taxes, authorities must estimate how much your home is worth every year. So how do they do this? A home sales price is a strong indicator of its value. The value of your home is basically what someone would pay to buy it on an open market. So in an example where a house sells for $50,000, uh, it's pretty fair to say that the market value of that house is about $50,000. Uh, this, of course, is not the case if you have transactions like a property gets sold at auction or you have a quit claim deed to a family member. Um, but if it sells on the open market, it's pretty safe to say that it's a good proxy for value. Because properties don't sell often, the assessor needs a way to estimate property values even when a property hasn't recently sold. So they estimate a property's market value using a mathematical formula to factor in things like square footage, number of bedrooms and bathrooms, quality of construction, neighborhood condition, and age of the property to determine what a property's market value is worth. This formula is what's used to estimate a property's market value for the purposes of deriving a tax bill. Once city officials have estimated the market value of a house, they take a couple more steps to determine exactly what an individual owner pays. They calculate the assessed value, which by Michigan law is half of the market value of the house, and the taxable value, which is the portion of your property's assessed value that the city of Detroit is legally allowed to tax you on. This is how they come up with a property tax bill. It's the millage rate or property tax rate times the taxable value. If the city's formula estimates the value of a house just right, that's great. That property owner pays their fair share in taxes. Here we see a house with a market value of 50K and the city's formula has also put the estimated market value at 50K, meaning the homeowner pays $1,400 in taxes and that's the just and fair amount that the homeowner should be paying. If a property is underassessed, the owner is paying less in taxes than is fair based on the value of the home. Here we see a potential example of this, where the actual market value is 50K, but the estimated value is 25K. This means that the homeowner pays less in taxes and based on the value of the home, they should be paying more. If a property is overassessed, the opposite happens. The owner pays more in taxes than is fair based on the value of the home. So here's an example of this, same actual market value, but here the estimated market value is higher at 75K. That means that the homeowner pays more in taxes than they should based on what their home is actually worth. It's not surprising that over and under assessments happen because assessments are best guesses based on limited information. However, a growing body of evidence shows that over and under assessments don't happen randomly. In cities across America, the data show that if your house is expensive, you're likely to pay less than your fair share in taxes. 
And if your house is inexpensive, you're likely to be paying more than your fair share. In an ideal situation, a sales ratio might look like this, a flat line, which would tell you that whether you're in the bottom 10% or the top 10% of sales, you were getting market values that were assessed accurately relative to how the home sells. However, in practice, the data looks like this. Across the nation, lower priced homes are assessed at a higher value relative to their actual sales price. Between 2010 and 2016, the city illegally inflated the property tax assessments of the vast majority of Detroit homes and overtaxed Detroiters by $600 million. After the citywide reappraisal, assessments generally fell, but property tax inequity got worse. Before the reappraisal, the lowest valued homes were assessed at roughly three times the rate of the highest valued. After the reappraisal, the lowest valued homes were assessed at four times the rate of the highest valued. Between 2018 and 2021, the city assessed the highest valued homes at 17.3% of their value and the lowest valued homes at 88.2% of their value. This means that the city assessed the lowest valued at over five times the rate applied to the highest valued homes. Today, City Council convenes to discuss how to make property tax assessments in Detroit more fair. We'll be hearing from residents, experts, and city staff on the subject.